HTP is pleased to introduce one of the most exciting new products to ever be introduced to the domestic hot water and home heating markets. The new Versa Hydro offers our customers an all-in-one appliance that produces hot water for domestic and home heating applications in one elegant and simple to install appliance. The Versa Hydro saves money on the installation and consumes less energy because it utilizes technology that makes it both highly combustion and thermal efficient. Because the Versa Hydro is a combined appliance, it saves considerable space over traditional domestic hot water and home heating installations. The most amazing part of the appliance is how it performs. This product consumes less gas, produces less emissions, and is virtually maintenance free. Now sit back and take a virtual tour with Heat Transfer Products owner and CEO, Mr. Dave Davis at this year's 2010 AHRI show. Our show, 2010. This is where we do our solar connections and we can hook up to a panel to provide solar energy into the tank which is integrated. Second component is the domestic connections where we have our return and supply ports where we service to domestic hot water needs, whether it be a shower, whether it be jacuzzis, whatever it might be. And we're drawing the water directly from the storage tank. Third component is essentially the heating module, which basically allows you to connect up to your central heating system, and whether that be radiant, whether it be air handlers, baseboard, uh, this provides the central heating needs for the system. And then the third, uh, the, the fourth component is where we have a couple auxiliary taps, where those can be hooked up directly to an air handler. So this could be servicing the radiant, the auxiliary ports could be hooked up directly to an air handler. You have your hot water connections. And then the first one I talked about is the uh, solar connection. So this tank does a lot of stuff for you. It integrates a lot of components. And the most important part about it is that everything that we've devised here, with the way the controls work, with the way the system works, is for efficiency. We always try to maintain the lowest set point based on your designs, based on how you apply it in the field in order to optimize the efficiency of the system and the multiple connections you have and the capabilities you have with the system. It's an extremely unique product out there. Essentially what we did is we took a high efficiency gas fired water heater and we incorporated what we call our heating module. The heating module is essentially a boiler. What the heating module essentially does is take the, take the heated water stored in the tank and basically backfeed it through this braze plate. And what we're doing is we're creating central heat and what we're doing is we're supplying domestic water which is stored in the tank and then we're backfeeding the system and basically utilizing the heated domestic water to heat the central heating booth through these supply and return connections. part about this is it's an integrated system. You have one tank that provides thermal storage, basically gives you hydraulic stabilization and in one simple package. One of the, another nice feature about the system is that with system loads we can basically modulate the pump to achieve actual system load uh, uh, balancing with the central heating in order to accommodate small zones or other things that can create short cycling. Uh, normally with conventional systems. One of the things I want to show you with the tank design as I went through it is, is showing you the inside of the tank. Essentially here's our combustion system where we have our Cooper Nickel Exchanger where we take the heated gases and we condense them and we transfer that energy into the tank and then we have our distribution tubes which basically take the water from the top of the tank and then base after it goes through the braze plate on the front of the heating module we dissipate the heat on the bottom and bringing the cold water back into the structure into the, the inside of the tank 